I got no words. I got no words, everybody. But uh, this is indeed a, a very, very solemn and sad day for the ARL fans out there. Um, so <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not. So, so today is going to be the last ARL uh, on this channel ever. Uh, for us as an org, we've realized that even though there's immense value that's given out in these ASIN reviews, that we've had way more success doing strategic webinars, web classes, master courses, stuff like that. So this will not be the end of me. This will not be the end of me teaching you guys all the goodies that you need to know about your ASINs and your, your images and your CTR. In, in fact, the quite opposite. We're actually going to be really dialing into these more practical, actionable webinars, master classes, master courses, where we can give you more value rather than just reviewing aces and stuff like that so it's going to be a little bit of a different show so we're going to be talking about where it's going and then if we have some aces we'll review them you'll be the, the last rip um and I'm, I'm not sniffling because i'm sad i'm sniffling because i have allergies so <laughs> no just kidding so lots of good things are coming out of this Right, so we're going to be doing a monthly webinar course, hands-on kind of thing like we did earlier this month where I got to really show people in a practical way how to use Canva. Um, we're coming up with one next month on how to use AI. So they're really going to be, they're a lot longer too, with a lot more takeaways, a lot more actionable kind of stuff. Um, and more goodies, right? Like right now I can't give away coaching calls and stuff because there's a ton of you guys that watch this, right? And it's not fair if people miss the replay and there's no real kind of buckle down date and stuff, you know? So for us, we have a lot of cool things coming up. Also, uh, I am running a Slack cohort uh, that is sponsored by PicFu. Uh, for a b split testing and that kind of stuff so if anybody run my email ali run my email so if anybody wants to get in the cohort uh through slack we're doing crazy things over there um we're we're, we're 
getting a chance to connect with you guys one-on-one and run pick food polls and, you know, show you tangible kind of things. I'm able to share Canva links of any kind of mock-ups that we're doing for you where you can in turn take that and, you know, use your in-house person or come to mag and have us do it for you. Um, so it's a lot of good stuff. So if you want in on that, email me and I will get you guys on that. And if, even if you're watching the replay and you're not live, still email me and we'll get you into that Slack cohort because that's a, a good thing that we're doing as well. And just more hands-on ways for us to kind of reach out to you guys. This We've had a good run, right? I think we, we've done a couple dozen of these shows. We've had lots of guests on here. Cue the highlight reel. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have that. Um, a lot of a lot of big names on here. We've helped lots of people. As a matter of fact, I had someone come yesterday on a coaching call with me. Oh, that's the other thing too, right? When we do these webinars, can't guarantee every time we'll do it, but a lot of times you're getting a lot of freebies, like a coaching call with me, coaching call with me through Mag directly. If you you didn't get that value prop, is uh, three hundred bucks for half an hour. So you know, these, this is a way for you to kind of get a hold of me a little bit better and maybe not have to do the $300 if you don't have to. What I found a lot of people after our initial kind of coaching call, they'll book with me one or two times after and pay because, you know, we're really helping people out. I'm getting choked up, <clears throat> helping people out. Um, so the, the coaching call that I was on, no cost coaching call was on and, uh, he advised me that I affected his CTR from 0.01% to the highest of almost 2%. And he was thanking me like I was some god of CTR, which I am. No, I'm just kidding. So something like that is really tangible and quantifiable results for you as a brand and you as a seller and all that kind of stuff. So those are the kind of things I want to do more of. And I really want to have a, a bigger impact with mag with you guys on, on something like that. So, you know, we're going to give lots of value that way. Even if you decide not to use us as an agency for your optimization, yeah, that's cool if you have an in-house team, but those coaching calls are, are super, super valuable. And I can't get into too much of it, but there are some large monster brands reaching out to us, uh, logos, um, that have their own in-house team, but they see the value that we provide for the coaching and consulting kind of thing, right? So let's hop into it. We got Rudy coming in at the, the 1050 mark. All right. I wasn't even awake at that time. How long will the stream last for? Pa Paolo, it, this is the last one. So it's going to run for the next 45 minutes or so. Um, but do not, do not cry. Do not be upset. We're going to be running uh, webinars or web classes. I don't know what the phrase we're calling it is. Web class, webinar. I don't really know. Um, and the next one I'm going to be doing is going to be for AI, right? And how did, I have a bad habit of saying right after, I don't know. Um, and using AI in um, generating proper titles, generating proper bullet points, copy, the tone of voice of your brand, um, all the way down to actual images. I, I know we spoke to one client that they had a supplement product and they're like, okay, actually, no, it wasn't for people, it was for cats. And they said, I could just show a cat. Like, how how else can I show the customer avatar? I was like, who's your avatar? Oh, women in their their you know early thirties to mid fifties who have cats with long hair. Well, perfect. And I showed them how we can generate through a Mid Journey, a Dolly, or the, the the myriad of other kind of tools that are out there. How we can build out a realistic kind of photo when you give it prompts that say shot on Canon DSLR, hyper-realism, hyper-realistic. That's how you get the super, super good quality photos through AI and, and not the cartoony stuff. So taking that, we came up with the avatar and we showed the cat. We showed the cat with long hair, the lady with long hair, and then we put typography on top of it to make it an infographic. Um, 
so so yeah so there's a lot of cool things we're doing with that yeah michael you interested in the slack group email me email me and we will get anyone and everyone in the slack group that uh is emailing me directly now at a certain point it's it's no cost right now at a certain point i'm gonna close it off i think we have about 16 or 17 spots left um then i'm gonna close it off because i don't want it to get inundated with tons and tons of people so there are some requirements for the slack group um you have to be in north america so you have to be canada us or mexico at least for right now um you have to be a brand owner and or a brand seller so you can't be an agency so it's a pitch free zone no one's pitching you no one's no one's doing any of that kind of stuff uh, and no freelancers and no VAs. So the reason for that, not shunning out VAs or freelancers, because this is not going to be a group for people to pitch and kind of grab leads and all that other kind of stuff. So I want brand owners and uh, you know sellers of brands and stuff like that to feel comfortable coming into a group and asking about things without having to be pitched. It's a it's a pitch free zone. So there's going to be none of that none of that nonsense going on around here oh fahim interested in the slack group yeah totally can i review your products totally uh, I, I i am on one screen so when i swap over it's going to look a little weird right now because i have to be a little bit mobile uh because the baby's taking a nap uh but everyone knows how that goes michael says can you review these for me absolutely so let me pull up my screen let me share my screen and we will get into it. Michael, my email address is flying across the screen over here. So now you just asked about that. So let me share my screen. Yeah, it's going to be a double screen. We're going to go infinity windows today, uh, but that's okay. So B is zero CK. You're going to see how I have to go back and forth on this kind of stuff. B zero CK uh w h r l 6 m w h r l 6 m did i get that right i probably didn't get it right w h r l 6 m so it's a, if it's international guys let me know too okay so let's take a look at this so this is a nana tumbler nana cup best nana gifts for christmas mother's day nana mug new nana okay so right off the rip um let's take a look at the serp for tumblers um why am i going to google i need to have my head examined nana tumbler so you're going to see a lot of people with the box, but don't do this. I know I talk about the box hack all the time because this is a giftable item. So you don't want to show a box that someone's not getting. However, if you do have a giftable box or a good looking box, definitely include that because your competition is, don't worry, I'm not going to click it. Your competition is doing it and they're doing monster numbers over here. So that's something I would definitely like to see, especially with something that's giftable. The other thing you could do is have the lid off and to the side. And if you come with any cleaner inside of it, you'd want to show that too. So lid off to the side, uh, you know, over here. And if it comes with a cleaner, which most of these tumblers typically do, I like the lifestyle images. This is great. Straw included. Um, the other thing I would want to know is how many ounces it is. I know it says 22 ounces over here, but a little tag um, to kind of differentiate yourself from the competition never hurt nobody. So you see over here, they're doing the, the lid off to the side and the straw separately. That just lets people know exactly what the lid looks like. Some people want to know, is it a slide lid? You know, you have the lid over here but you'd want to showcase it here too because some people want to know is it only for straws or can i sip from it um so that's something that i would say would be the best am i showing my screen i am i didn't make sure um make sure to do that so tumbly over here you have a lot of text which is great for seo but just understand no one's reading this 
um, exceptional quality and design. Sounds a little chat GPT ish, right? Uh, Christmas with grandmas is a special time with, I would just, the apostrophe S is a little weird because it's not grandma possessive. So I would say Christmas with grandma is a special time. Um, but yeah, if you can do more wider images, I know you don't have premium A plus here, but if you could do more wider images to show the avatar, show why you, why not the competition. So like an us versus them is always good with tumblers too. So are you leak proof? If I turn it upside down, shatter proof, shatter resistant, stainless steel. So these kind of things, you know, so I would almost have an us versus them. So us versus cheap China direct stuff. Uh, even though this probably comes from China as an original kind of thing. Um, us versus them, us, straw included, them, maybe they don't have a straw, us, powder coated, them, maybe a sticky label on it. Um, so you do say individually gift boxed. So when you say individually gift box, I want to see what the gift box looks like. And then I go back to my earlier thing. And if it's a gift box, then you'd want to showcase that in the title. So, in beautiful package and a, and a delightful gift box. So show the box. If we're going to say it's a delightful box, show the box in here. Take the lid off, put it to the side, take the straw out, show the gift box, and then on the gift box, like your competition has, I would put how many ounces it is. So 22 ounce. So that this way people know, hey, I want 22 ounce, or no, I don't want 22 ounce. Because if I go here, I'm not going to click it, but if I go ahead and click it and it's too small, yeah, it says it over here, but people don't read. People shop with their eyes. So you want to be very visual with this kind of stuff. So since we say gift box, I'd want to see the gift box super, super clear on that. Does that make sense? Hold on. Uh, okay. Oh, Allie's going to post the ASINs here. Okay, cool. Thanks, Allie. Okay, cool. So let's go to that. Michael's interested in the Slack group. We already said that. What's the email address? <laughs> oh, well, sorry. Justin says, if you can review Ace in this, I'll be forever grateful. Very low CTR on the PPC, which you would assume is due to the price. We're priced at $20 to $25, higher than the competition. We rely heavily on hype marketing off platform, and it works well through Google Ads. Okay, so. Allie just made my life 10 times better. That's why she's amazing. And let me put this up here first. Ooh, oh, because I'm not doing DP. That's why. I'm the silliest goose in the gander. All right, now let me share my screen. Do, 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 do. Okay, back to the infinity window. So Justin, we have, and I just want to make sure you can see my screen. You can, infinity window. So we're looking at rain preservative, rain preservative free. Okay, rain preservative free eye drops. Mm, that reads a little weird. I'd almost rather you say rain drops hyphen preservative free or rain hyphen preservative free rain drop or preservative free eye drops. Um, okay, so... Right off the ripperoni, I have no idea what the product looks like. I like that you're saying it's sterile. I like that you're saying 30 single-use containers, but what does the container look like? So I had to go all the way down here to see the product. So you don't want to do that. So you want to take, even though they look very medical and stuff like that, you want to take this asset over here and bring it in front of your box. So when I say... When I see preservative free on the Serperoni, your competition is showing the product and you're not. And by the way, you're not even coming up, you're coming up down here for sponsored. Don't worry, I'm not going to click it. But your competition is showing the physical product and you're not. That is a big, big miss. So if we're talking about you're leaning in external traffic and stuff like that, that's all well and great. But if you're not showing the physical product, you're missing out like on a ton of sales. Um, so especially I didn't get 
to it till down here. Show it over here, then show how I use it. Show someone cracking it open, using it, all that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing I want to say is if it's made in the U.S., then you'd want to showcase that. So ditch the junk drops like that. Why are you better than the competition? So, okay, you're telling me why here, but you definitely need an us versus them story. In your A-plus content, you still don't even show the product. This couldn't be more of a miss. So say for context, show context. Say for daily use, show someone doing it. Gentle and hydrating, show the up close of an eye. So you talk about how you're better than the competition, but you don't have the us versus them story. So you definitely need that. But from a purely CTR perspective, you want to showcase the actual product. So where is it made? Is it coming from overseas or is it coming from the U.S.? If it's coming from the U.S., you want to put me in the U.S. over here. Because if it's being in the U.S., I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable putting it in my eye versus if it comes from overseas. It's just the nature of the game. If it's from overseas, nothing you can do about that. Also, you're not doing FBA. Could be some compliance issues. Could be that's not written in the stars for you. That's not your model. But that's another reason why I would go to your competition over you. Um, so the 30 single-use containers, that's almost like an afterthought. I'd rather you have 30 single use up here in a large call out versus kind of down here and showcasing and we'll do some canva we'll do some it's my last one we'll do some canva no i don't want cans i don't know what that is you think i would have canva as a bookmark since i use them every freaking day but you know just the silliest goose in the gander so something like this right and then see i say right way too much i need to speak to someone about that i need to speak to a speech pathologist what can i say instead of right um uh i want to say um and uh so drop the background i can't i can't you praise canva enough like if canva wasn't a thing i wouldn't be able to do half the things i talk to you guys about and that's just honest the truth um make sure it's in proper size ratio stuff like that and you could see when you come down here it's going to block some things so and that's okay but you want to make sure that it doesn't block things that are super important so you see over here if i block 30 single use containers right um it's okay but you want to put it someplace else ideally uh, the 30 single use containers or what we're doing is we're making the packaging a little bit smaller and then supplementing this someplace else because yes it's blocking some text over here but the amount of clicks you're going to get by showing the product right and this is i did it again right um you can even do something like this and you're not going to show all 30 of them all right that's a banana sandwich but showing something like this lets me know that i'm getting a lot of value prop in there no one's going to count all these and you could a b split test it by doing just showing five or even just showing one uh, i don't have the asset to show one but you could even just show one zoomed in and up close and maybe the top broken um but i, I think this is drastically going to help your ctr um in this situation justin what do you think oh it's me in the states there you go. I, I would have never known it was made in the States from this product right here. So if it's made in the States, made in the USA. And again, if you have a creative director, they're going to cringe when I when I do this, and that's okay. They don't they don't bring in the bucks. Sorry, creative directors. Oh, these allergies kill me. Um, something like this in some way, shape, or form. Even though it doesn't say made in the US, something like this on your product packaging is going to help people say, got it, it's made in the US, it's made in the States, whatever it is, right? Tone it down so it looks a little bit more organic, organic aroni and cheese. 
and this helps, right? So if someone's shopping and they're very conscious of what they put in their body, they're they're diehard rah rah Americans like everyone should be. This is something that you want to put um, because this alone, these two things alone, I guarantee. Forget about even adding the thirty up here. I guarantee these two things alone are going to drastically increase your CTR because you're showing the product, you're giving transparency, and then you're showing where it's made, more transparency. You get the theme here? It's all about being transparent with this kind of stuff because if you're not, then there's nothing differentiating you from the competition, and that's the idea. And especially with this, your competition is showing the product. Now, is your competition showing made in the US? Let's take a look. Preservative free. So they're not showing made in the US. Uh, but this is important. And I'm, sh I'm shocked and surprised that other people are not leaning into this more. You could say doctor recommended all you want. See, country of origin USA. So they are made in the USA, but they're not showing it. I would imagine most of these are made in the USA. But again, if you don't tell me, there's no way to assume. You can't assume, especially with something like your eyes. Forget it. Look at me. I got four eyes. So doctors recommended. Yeah, but that's that you get into a sticky situation with that. You don't want to you don't want to put doctor recommended unless it actually is and you have data and reports and stuff like that. So I think in a way, this is a good tactic for you to one up on the competition for shizzle. TYB says quantity should be highlighted. Yep. Quantity should be highlighted, especially if it's 30 pieces, right? Because your competition might be 60 pieces for cheaper, but if they don't call out enough, then take advantage of that. That's what you want to do. It's all about it's all about taking advantage of stuff. All right, I got another ace in here from Raul. Raul. Let me pull that up and we'll take a look. Where's Raul's comment? Yeah, you got it, Justin. Join the join the Slack cohort. It'll do you good. Does the body good. Can you review this, Raul? Yeah, I got it pulled up. Let me pop back to my infinity screen. All right, so powder drink mix class. A new way to drink aguas frescas. Okay. So five calories per pack. I like that. Sugar-free. Big fan of that but I don't see what the product is. I see it here. I see it poking out over here. How many am I getting? 44 on the go. See the 44, that font? Don't do that font. This blank space over here or over here is where you'd want to make it more, more clear or clearer, rather. Um, so something like this. My son's watching Bluey, I think, on Blast. Okay, so Magic Eraser. Going to go in here. Going to do the little zoom in. No. Ah. Canva, you got me again. So, again, this is the down and dirty, as the regulars call it over here. Mock-up style. But it's not perfect. But, hey. Neither are humans. I'm just kidding. You want to make sure it's perfect. Um, is, is this either going to get better or worse? I got better. Okay, great. So then what you'd want to do is go to something like this and make, what was it, 44? I deleted it already. 44. So coming here, Canva's amazing. 44. Gee whiz, look at that. Got 44 right here. So 44 you're going to get a little bit icon fatigue. So, you know, the calories, the variety, I wouldn't, I would, I would almost opt out of variety pack, right? Cause I already know it's a variety pack. Just show me that I'd rather you remove this. So in a way, imagine this kind of thing over here. And what we'll do is we'll do a little circle roni and cheese.
I know you're probably watching and like, John, that doesn't make any sense. Hey, it's all about position. There we go. That makes sense. Silly goose. Um, I would say 44 on the go packs in your brand colors and stuff like that, moving it up. I'm just kind of showing you this to, this to cover that. But the other thing is I want to see the powder. I want to see what it looks like broken open. I want to see the powder. So show me that. So you have a little bit of this here. What I'd rather you do is take that packet. And again, we're doing the down and dirty version. Sounds bad, but I'm going to do and do this in a way better way than I'm able to show you here. But what you want to do is, yeah, not with the hand in it, but just the packet broken open. So suspend disbelief for the moment. And imagine the packet like this without the hand there showing the powder spilled out. Because I want to see that it's a powder. You don't want people think there's other stuff out there that comes in packs that's liquid. So you want to be very, very clear about what someone's getting and how they're going to use it. Or, not or, either and or, rather, show a drink in the back, a glass of water with something inside of it. So glass of juice. All oh, these allergies. So... You know, depending on what kind of color it is or anything like that, um, something like this could prove well. Like, uh, obviously, you don't have a, a cranberry drink here, but something like this to show people what they can expect. Backwards. No, not all the way backwards. Oh, man. Trials and tribulations of Canva. Showing something like this, right? So this is like the before and this is the after. Is very appetizing and appealing for someone so just pick one of the flavors out of here i would say as we're going into springtime i would go with like a strawberry or the watermelon one put that here so people understand Ooh, and now if we're talking about on the go and you don't want to go that route you can get like a, a water bottle or a water bottle kind of on the go kind of one like this that's clear so think something like this that's clear and then putting up the red juice or something inside of it or something something appealing and tasty um, so showing the powder before and then this here and then again going back to made in the us if it's made in the us you want to showcase that um so five calories got it our container is yeah no one's really buying it for the container so it's resealable, reusable. I'm not reusing the container. Uh, so I care more about the flavor profile and how it tastes versus the container. That's not a huge value prop. So I'd rather see you break down the flavors more. So when we're talking about strawberry and watermelon, I want big watermelon, strawberry, yum, yum, yum. Uh, and then going down here. So like stuff like this. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect though. Right, take this one because you already have. What did I do? Um, the goose. So you already have the asset here. So just just take it and shake what your mama gave you, and then bring this here. You don't need this Canva thing because you already got a good one. So take this, drop this over here, do a little flipperoni and cheese. Bring it up like this, take it over here, bring it down a little bit, toss it to the back. There you go. Now I'm able to see the before and after, and this is appealing and appetizing. I, this is not so much because I don't have the right assets, but powder version broken open and the finalized drink. I don't know about you, but I want to drink some of that now. Um, try to avoid using stylized icons so 50 ca five calories per stick compared to what so us versus them us versus traditional juice you know high in calories can't take it on the go as much you have to pour a big juice container out so show real stuff here show me show someone pouring it into a real thing environment friendly why is it environment friendly 
um, because there's less bottles that are being taken out. Um, no artificial flavor. Show me the fruits. So telling isn't selling. We have to, especially with something appetizing, we want to make it appetizing. Does that make sense? That should make sense. Or I'm a crazy goose. I don't know. Okay, what's the next one we got over here? We've got... Earl says, thanks for the feedback. Oh, you're welcome. So we have Daudas, the Silvas. Let's pull that up. Let me share my infinity screen. You guys ready to go to the multiverse? Okay, so jewelry higher-end jewelry too so i just had to speak to someone today in our team about this and apparently lifestyle images and jewelry for the main hero image is accepted so a couple of ways you can go with something like this first off oh, i love that you have a quarter and not a penny i always tell people stop using a penny for size pennies are worthless do you really want your product next to something that's worthless i don't think so Always use a quarter. So bravo on using a quarter. But you have no lifestyle images. You have. No, I know you're in a jewelry space. You probably have 14 zillion SKUs, ASINs. But you want to showcase someone who's your avatar wearing this. It's not me. It's probably going to be someone like my wife. Um, so showcase that on someone's neck at the at the very at the at the minimum. Um, coming down here. You got no A plus content, no brand story and module, no nothing. So for 200 bucks, you want me to roll the dice on this? Yeah, you need some more merchandising here for Shizzle. Um, so does it come in a box? Is it a giftable box? Is it come in a poly bag? I would hope for $209 or $204, it comes in some sort of giftable jewelry box. If that's the case, you'd want to showcase that as well, how it's a giftable item, who it's for. I don't know who it's for. Is this something for my daughter? Is this something for my wife? Is this something for someone who's the avatar? We don't know because we can't see this here. So you, you definitely want to showcase that a little bit better. Also, in the jewelry space for your SEO, it's always evergreen, but it's always changing. So you want to make sure that you ride the wave. So moms, dads, grads, right? That's coming up. So Mother's Day, this is a great Mother's Day gift. This is a great graduation gift for someone graduating college, graduating high school, graduating, you know, fifth grade. I don't know. You know, maybe maybe do that kind of thing. I'm not giving my daughter $204 necklace for graduating fifth grade, but maybe high school. Um, so understand who your customer is and focus on that, right? Christmas and New Year's, right? So it's not Christmas and New Year's, so you want to change your SEO because something like this is wasted space. Like Valentine's Day is over, Christmas is over, New Year's is over. And I get it. You're probably thinking like, I have so many ASINs. How can I do that? That's the thing. You have to value SEO a little bit to put in the work, but it's definitely going to pay off. So just showcase what it comes in, showcase the avatar, bravo on the quarter, and then update the SEO accordingly. And you got to get A-plus content and a brand story module because that's just that's just free SEO that's sitting there waiting for the waiting for the taking, waiting for you to just scoop it up. Does that make sense, Adoda? No response over here. Gee whiz. It's a wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so Paolo's, let's go to Paolo's. Allie's making my last show super easy. Thank you, Allie. You're the best. So Paolo's is not coming up. Okay, here we go. This is in the UK. Guys, don't be silly geese. Let me know if it's in the UK or not. Because otherwise I look like a silly goose. All right, so military dog tags, set of two personalized stainless steel, nickel plated with silencers. Okay. I hope you point out what a silencer is. I know what it is, but if you're not pointing it out, it means nothing. You're not pointing it out. So point out the fact that these plastic silicone rubber things are silencers and why they're important to have. 
also, how long is the chain? Doesn't tell me how long. I like the packaging. I'd almost rather you take the bag over here and put it behind here for the main hero image to show that it comes in a little giftable bag. But you want to have a call out for how long the chain is. So you don't get to it till down here. Um, but then who's wearing this, right? So we see a guy like this. But as we talk about moms, dads, grads, dads, this is great. You know, talking about Father's Day. So I would gear up now for Father's Day. But don't say features or benefits and then not tell people what it is. So when you say silencers, tell tell people what that means. Dog Tag Co., the gift of forever. I can't see dog tags. I see no dog tags over here. You have a you're using a brand store module, which is great, but you're not using it to the benefit. Show all the avatars in individual images. Um, and I'll bring up my go-to example, Age of Sage down here right so you have a lot of space for all this kind of stuff even if you only have one product see these images here check this out seo it's free money you know we're not doing this for charity we're doing this for money so any kind of seo that you have left on the table uh you're giving up you're giving up cash so here you got an avatar down here they got why is this not in your photo stack because this is more compelling than this. So you have a good image, but you're putting it, you're not, you're not using another good one. You're not putting that at the top. So it comes with gift bag. Another good one. This is a great image that you don't have in the top. Made in the UK. Another good thing you're not talking about as well. Made in the UK. So you're in the UK. So showcase that avatar better up here showcase the bag behind it because that's a value prop and then i would put on the bag made in the uk so doing something like this if there's anyone out there watching that has allergy medication and you want a free asin review please hit me up and send me samples i can't i can't take the spring it's unbearable do, 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 do. Guys, this is the last show. If you just tuned in, this is the last show. So get your ASINs in while you can. Otherwise, you'll be regretting it later. Moo hoo ha 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 ha. Just kidding. Or not. I don't know. So this, this. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let's go. Let's hit the ground running. Something like this. Toss it to the back Roni, right? This is going to help you with merchandising. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to say, made in UK. Made in UK. Need to know that. That's not made in China. Sorry, China. We support other countries. Just the truth. Mm. It's very controversial, very polarizing, but also not at the same time. So something like this is going to help you get that better CTR. Because now we're showing the gift bag, because it's a nice gift bag. You're showing your branding right in there, and you're showing where it's made. But just hammer home a little bit more about the silencers, because I know what that means, because I've dealt with dog tags before, but other people don't. So. Other people might think that this is okay, but then you walk around, it's like clink, 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 and you sound like a dog walking around. You don't want to do that. You want to be stealth like a ninja. Know what I mean? Jelly bean? Uh, Dota says, thanks, John. Could you refer an agency that does photo shoot with lifestyle images with people and who could do a great A-plus content or premium? Well, that's a loaded question. You you are the silliest goose. Ali, ro roll to the bottom. Mag. So if you want to do full service management or if you want to do the one-off listing optimization or anything good like that, we do it. We don't do photo shoots, but for your product, you don't need that because our graphic design team is does they do bang up jobs. So I I 
try to try to peek my eye on everything that I can. I can't can't be ever at once. I'm in sales. So I try to keep my my finger on the pulse. And when I see something, I kind of let people know I run trainings internally on best practices with this kind of stuff. So if you need that kind of support, we are definitely here to do that. Oh, sure. Paolo says UK based and furiously writing all these notes now. Well, don't don't watch and catch the replay with that. It's important. I was at my son's. Um, he had a music recital today and I was I was videoing him and my wife was next to me and I was videoing it. And I got enough video that I put the phone down because I wanted to experience it. I didn't want to just be the guy with the phone watching. So. Yeah, definitely want to experience it. 100%. Thanks for all your tips. Tipperoni and cheese. Yeah, you got it. All right, the next one we got is TYB Soybuses. Ali, just put up their comment because I'm switching over for TYB. I'm going to do their, do their listing right now. The, down, the, the, the downfall of having one screen and being mobile. Okay. Um, again, we got another UKer. All right. Infinity screen. Shout out to my friends in the UK. Uh, a lot of you guys may not know this, but uh, I am American, but I'm also half Italian, half English. That's where Aspinall comes from. I'm a very famous person in England. Okay, back to it. So these are steak knives, set of six. Don't know it's a set of six. You're making me count. Don't do that. I don't want to count. Uh, made in France. So I like that's made in France. So the way that you have it saying made in France makes me not understand what Thiers is. So maybe that's just me being a silly American. But I'd also rather see a knife outside, which is kind of your packaging, what it does. But I'd really want to see the knife outside. Um, and then made in france and the six piece set a little bit better this is a very nice knife look at this that is so cool it's a b funny story my my daughter's name is juliet and we call her juju b so anytime i see a b i think of my daughter guarantee okay so here's what i would do i would go here i would go here all right, so I'm going to make this bigger, bigger roni and cheese. In case you guys don't know, I always talk like that. It's just something I do. And then I would take, am I sharing my screen? I'm just going to keep on making sure. Yep. One time I was doing that with a prospect on the phone uh, on a sales call. And I was demoing all these things. And they were like, are you showing me your screen? Because I can't see it. And I was like, I'm the silliest goose in the gander. So... I don't have the best assets to work with, but I'm going to give it a go. Give it the old college try. Uh, here. And then let me... It's not going to work. I know it's not going to work. Oh, it worked better than I thought. So forget about these three knives. Just keep an eye on this one over here. The last one. Make it outside the packaging like this to give you some substance like this. I know you already have it in your packaging showing like this, but this is spreading your elbows out and taking up some more space. So let me make this a little bit better because it's bothering me. I have OCD. I guess that's good to have in a creative aspect, right? You wouldn't want someone doing your CTR that's like, eh, it'll work, whatever. You want to be precise. Okay. So something like this, obviously in the proper aspect ratio, going to have you spread out your wings a little bit. And then you want to be able to do a six-piece set. So I always go to Canva because you can't beat Canva. I'm surprised I haven't been sponsored by Canva 20 times over. So going over here, you can change the color. You can pull a color out from the actual uh, photo itself, which is amazing. And again, this is a post edit, so don't fear 
oh my god, I got the product and it doesn't have the six piece logo on. No one cares. No one cares. No one's gonna worry about it. Um, six, right? And then you want to do piece set. Piece. Where did that go? That's oh, perfectly right there. Piece set. And then you want to do this. You want to do a little bit of the nails. There's a reason I play with the spacing, and you guys can see it's not pieces set, it's piece set. Um, because the stock way of they do it, it doesn't always come out so nice looking. Um, so you can do something like this, or you could just do six pieces, or you could keep it all on one line and do six piece set like this. The idea is to just, even though piece set won't be as huge, doesn't really matter because the six is, and that's what's going to get the attention. So six piece set, right? And then the made in France just needs to be a little clearer. So something like this is something that I would go with versus what you have over there, just because I like how this wrap looks versus like an award-winning kind of logo or emblem. Now, just omit this for a second. Maybe I can, let me see if I can edit this and not look like a complete disaster. And I'm assuming that's a post-edit anyway, but you never know. Oh, wow. Canva really knocked out of the park on that. Um, so now I'm looking at it and I'm saying, okay, I see that's made in France super clearly. I see that there's the knife outside to show another angle of it. I see a six piece set. This is going to help you with your CTR. Does that help? I hope that helps. Let me go back to the comments over here. Uh, you don't use Photoshop for your image changes? Question mark. Um, our team exclusively uses Photoshop. I don't use Photoshop because Canva is way too powerful for the mock-up. The mock-up is the blueprint that we would give a creative director or graphic designer to then go off of. Oftentimes, creative designers, creative people, they need direction, right? They're able to execute really, really well, but often they don't want to think about what they should do. This cuts down the time that they have to think about what they have to do by giving them the foundation, and then they can just go and execute on that. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Man, these tips are life-changing, no joke. I mean, it, it's 100% life-changing. It's 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 going to be game-changing. Will you rate my ace in live on call? Only if you drop it. If you don't drop it, I am not a mind reader. You are the best. You are the best. Amazing guide. Psh. Com I, I love the compliments, guys. Keep them coming. I'm just kidding. I got a negative comment one time because I said that. I'm just kidding. I'm not pandering. Okay, so DDAC, DIDAC, let's pull this up here. Infinity Multiverse. Okay, so we've got a lot of UK friends on here today. Is this UK? No. Okay, so currently unavailable. What's going on? So dog food mat and cat food mat. Pet food mat. More colors. Okay. How big is this? I don't know. So you're showing me the happy dog, show me the happy kitten. Um, but it looks like she's laying on, or he or she's laying on top of it. A little, a little weird. Um, but you're missing the big value props of, you know, how big is it? And what's, is it waterproof? It's waterproof. Ta-da. Um, but I wouldn't know that from here. So you want to put that it's waterproof. You want to put the size. So how big is it? You don't say the size in your title. You don't say the size down here. Okay, great brand story module. 
So you see these waterproof stain resistant wipeable that needs to be over here. Waterproof stain proof wipeable. Cause that's what's important for people. Uh, two millimeters in height. Still have no idea how big this thing is. Nope. Nope. Yeah. If I was in the market, I'm not buying it. Um, just because, you know, you need to show exactly like, look at these guys over here. They're not showing it, but something like this is able to show your size. So they have different sizes over here. Let's go back. Do you have different sizes? Maybe is that why? Nope. It's just one size. So <clears throat> you'd want to showcase the size and the value prop waterproof, stain resistant, wipeable, that kind of thing. And then make sure you don't put the cat on top over here. Um, maybe do like a sideways kind of thing. Like in a way, this is a better showing of the mat versus this. So like you're, you're making a post edited version of it when you have a lifestyle version that looks really good. So just crop this background out, expand it. So you don't have any cutoffs over here. And then maybe you can Photoshop a cat sitting next to the dog because and if you can remove, if you have an asset where you don't have the bowls, well, no, you need the bowls to showcase it. But I would, in a way, just do this. Just remove drink up and chow down in a post edit because you want them to be very ambiguous and not sticking out. So just make them not the star of the show by just removing chow down and drink up. But this image is way better than this image. And in, in a way it'll give you, you could also put the box behind him over here to showcase all that kind of stuff. So you can do it two different ways. Use this main image, get rid of drink up and chow down and put a cat in there or keep this image, move the cat down here and then use this space in post edits. Um, Cause yeah, more colors is great, but forget about more colors. I wanna know more about the color I'm looking at. I'm, I'm not getting the basic value prop and the basic size. So I, I need to know how big this is. Is it too big for me for my house? I'm in New York City. I got the size of a dime for space. So if I had a cat or a dog, that's super important to me. And this looks really big compared to these two bowls. But is it that big? I really don't know. So you got to tell me. Uh, scratch resistant, protect your floors. Oh, so here, here's the size 16 by 31. You finally. I had, to, I had to hunt to find it. And most shoppers are not going to do that. Everyone's got too much time on their hands for that kind of stuff. So that's what I would say about that. And it looks like we're at about time right now. Uh, I hope I will implement your strategy. I hope so too. Uh, this is my competitor's ASIN. Can you rate the ASIN? We're running out of time, but you could email me. Throw my email, Ellie, because uh, I got to hop to a sales call in a little bit. Uh, guys, if you didn't get a chance to, oh, Brian, you already know the deal, man. Brian, I'll hit that ASIN up for you. You're a subscriber. But if you guys aren't in my cohort right now that we're running, anyone that's on here, email me. Say, John, I want in on the cohort on the Slack group. We'll be able to review the ASINs there, give you tangible things, run some pick food polls, all that kind of good stuff. And all that kind of good stuff. I'm not going to share my screen more because um, I just want to give a give a farewell. But Ali, you can run the stuff on the bottom. Guys, we're a full service agency. We do everything under the sun if you need it. Just hit us up online. Uh, we do coaching calls if you need any sort of coaching calls. I do coaching calls for the company uh, for creative stuff. We have directors that are gangbusters with doing all other sorts of troubleshooting ppc strategy um all that kind of good stuff um he says super quick run over i can't man i got a sales call to come after this sales are the most important thing um and yeah that's why i had to get here early come in early next week just kidding i won't be here um so the coaching calls we have our sops i, I spoke to at least three people on um coaching calls this week that are grabbing SOPs um, because they have their in-house team or they're just not ready for an agency. And that's cool. We have, you know, we have good, better, best options for everybody. We are always hiring. 
guys, if you want to come work with us, if you want to come work with me in sales, you want to be an amazing brand manager, even if you have no experience and you want to tap in, we, we have paid internships where we will teach you how to do all the goodies in Amazon. So that's it. That's all I got. Um, we're still going to be doing a Tuesday uh, podcast. Allie, is that right? We're doing the Tuesday PPC. And we're Allie, hop on, hop on camera. This is the final show. Hop on camera. I want to give Allie a shout out. I'm not going to end it to you. Hop on camera, Allie. That's it. Hop on. Get up here. Hey, everyone. Right. Where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> Show yourself out. Oh, my God. I'm not camera ready today. But... You'll be camera ready today on the last day. <laughs> I just want to give Ali a, a major shout out because Ali, if you guys don't know, runs runs everything behind the scenes. He sets everything up. There she is. Wonderful human okay. being. Ali runs all the behind the scenes for all of our podcasts, all of our social, all that kind of stuff. She is the the guru on the back end. Worked with me <laughs> as an intern, evolved into a social media manager. And not nothing but the best. So, you know, Ali, thank you for being with us for this time. And it's been a wonderful run. And we will we you will be with us in marketing stuff and helping with webinars I more than be. likely. And yeah. you you can catch Ali on the back end. Yeah, that's right. Go Ali. Here we go. Go out the thank one you. and only. Go Ali. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, guys. So, I will soon be here, running PPC on Tuesdays and Fridays AMA. So yeah. So keep keep on keeping on, Ali. I just wanted to give you a shout out. You're you're always on the back end doing all this kind of good stuff, and you deserve to have some some Aww. some camera time today because you're an amazing person, <laughs> and you you keep everything running like a tight ship, and a and a well oiled machine. So I just want to say thank you for everything that you do with the org and, and everything for the podcast. And everyone tune in on, she said, Tuesdays for the PPC. And then who, who's doing the Friday? Is it Steven or is it? Um, this Friday, Steven. Oh, it's Noah. It. And yeah, next Friday, it's Noah. Oh, so this Friday, Steven's doing it? Yep. Oh, that wasn't even advertised, I don't think. So if you guys are watching, that's a little sneak peek about the big boss is coming up on the uh, Everyone's saying, what's up, Ali? See, Ali, you're very, very popular. Very, very popular. <laughs> I'm popular. I don't know I'm popular. <laughs> you're extremely popular. Go go follow Ali on LinkedIn. Go follow me on LinkedIn. Go follow Mag on LinkedIn. Guys, we're doing the cohort. I'm doing also subscribe to my newsletter. Subscribe to Mag's newsletter. We're just content, 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 content. And that's it. That's all we got. Thanks awesome. again, Ali. Bye, guys. I'm so sad.